In this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple business card for the company that you came up with in the previous tutorial when you made your logo design. As you can see on the page right now I've got an example of how my business card is going to look for Bait Ups Burgers. It's quite simple, it's just made up of a few lines and rectangular boxes with a bit of text thrown on top. So let's get straight into it and we'll get started. In Fireworks we'll make a new document. We're going to do it in centimetres this time. The width will be 9 centimetres, the height will be 5.5 centimetres, the resolution will stay at 72 pixels per inch, and our canvas colour is going to be white. Once you've got those four settings changed, click on OK, and you'll get this little white box on your screen ready to make a business card. It is only small, but business cards are meant to be small, just slip inside the wallet. Um, so let's get started. If we look at the example one, We've got a couple of colours in the background, a bright orange strip across the bottom and a not so bright orange strip through the middle. So let's put them in first of all. We'll do that with the rectangle tool from our toolbox. If we go to our fill bucket, we'll select the nice bright orange colour. I'm going to start with a reasonably skinny rectangular box down the bottom. Above that, we'll go about halfway through the business card. I'll draw another box. You can see I'm going outside the lines here, that's fine. Now this one, I'm not going to change the colour of it, but what I am going to do is change this setting here. That little checkered box means the transparency or the opacity of this shape. If I just drop it down to about 50%, we'll see that it becomes a bit transparent. If we drop it a bit further, it's probably going to look a bit nicer. I might go down to about 25%. Got a nice light orange there where we can put some more text. That just breaks the page up a little. I might use the scale tool here just to resize it and make it a bit bigger. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Up the top here, we're going to put in our logo, our business name, and our name. Okay, so back from the last lesson, I've got my picture of the logo here that I'm going to select and copy. Pop back over to my business card and paste it in. Comes out a little bit big, okay, so I will need to use the scale tool to resize that. It will look a bit deformed as I do this, but never mind. It's close enough to looking good. Okay, so there's my logo in. Next thing I'll do is grab the text tool and I'm going to put some text across the top that says Bait Ups Burgers. Bait Ups Burgers. And I will change my settings down the bottom here to so that suits. So, I might turn italic off and just put it back to bold. I'm going to bump the size up a bit so it fits in nicely. I think that's a little bit too big. There we go, size 17 looks pretty good. Okay, so there's the name of my company. Below that, I'm going to put in my name and my job position at the company. So I'm going to go to the text tool and I'm going to write in Mr. Bait up. Oops. And my job is going to be head chef at Bait Ups Burgers. Now I don't want it quite as big as the business name. I think that's the most important thing on my business card, so I want that to stand out first. What I'm going to do with my name is make it a bit smaller. I might turn bold off and just change it to italics. And I'm just going to position it over on the right hand side here. Okay, I think I could bump that size up to 18 for the heading just to make it a little bit bigger. That looks nice now. So that's about the top of the business card done. Okay, in this middle section I want to have some contact details and in the bottom section I just want to have the website for my company. Just like so. Okay, so we'll start by putting the website in down the bottom. So with the text tool, I'm going to change my colour to white because I want that to stand out nicely. I'm just going to write www.baitupsburgers.com Move that into the middle. Here's a little bit big, so I'll just drop it down a couple of sizes. And I might turn italics back to regular. Okay. So that looks pretty nice. Now in the middle, we're going to put in some more text. This time, I'm going to put in the address. I'm going to write A for address, and I'll just make up address. One, two, three, Food Street, Caloundra, Queensland, four double five one. Now that's centered at the moment, so I'm going to change it to left alignment. I'm going to turn bold off. 
and I definitely need to change this color it's far too light so I might change it to a darkish orange it's brownie orangey kind of color that looks pretty good okay it's still a bit too big because I've still got some more contact details to put on the right hand side here so I'm going to drop that down size 12 looks pretty good okay I might just double click and make that A there I'll make that bold Okay, looks good. On the other side, we're just going to put in a phone number. So, right, P for phone. Turn bold back off, and I'll put in any old phone number. I'll get that matched up so it's perfectly in line with the address. And finally, I'm just going to do a copy and paste job here, and yeah, I'll lower it. I'm going to put E for email. Right, bait up at burgers.com Now that doesn't look like it's going to fit so I'm going to have to make all this text even a little bit smaller just so I can get it to fit size 11 might be acceptable still looks a bit squished so I might drop it to size 10 and then we should have ourselves a deal okay that looks pretty good I'll spread it out a bit Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now what I'll do now is just grab the line tool. I'm going to put a line straight across the top of this rectangle by holding down shift to keep it straight. Dropping it in. Um, the colour we want is probably this darker colour we use for the text. We click off it. doesn't look too bad. It's a bit bold and a bit dark so I might just lighten that up with the transparency tool. I'll drop it to about 50%. There you go. It's not quite as harsh now. I'll do the same again through the middle here. I hold shift and just draw a straight line through the middle. Probably drop its transparency down to 50%. Okay. So that looks pretty good now. I've got the name of my business that's nice and big and bold. I've got my name and my job position. I've got my contact details through the bottom here in the middle. To me that looked like a pretty decent business card. So once you've finished it, go to File Menu, Save As, and you'll want to save it as a JPEG image. Give it a good name like Business Card. Just double check that you use capital letters for the street names, suburb and state. You've got capital letters up here for the name of your business, your name, and you've got the correct phone number, email and website address in there. Okay. It's as simple as that.